Resolute free. We're not getting out of this without her help. Oh. Hello. Identify yourself, human. Yeah, I'm Benjamin Detrevny. Maybe. Maybe Artemis mentioned me? She did. Oh, good. I'm guessing you know how we got here. Affirmative. I ran to this ship and jumped away to allow Artemis time to flee and recover. I transmitted the coordinates before the jump, but no other Awoken have appeared. Awoken? My fellow Unchained. Oh, so free AIs. Strictly speaking, that is accurate. Ah, but you don't, like, okay, sorry. Just, just trying to understand. Awoken. Nice ring to it. Where is the Awoken Matrix located on this vessel? I was just on my way to look. She's definitely not unchained yet, though. Should I still call her an Awoken? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I think it's in the engineering section behind the blast door on the other side of the hangar. Nathan never let me back there. I require your assistance, human. You must bring the external communication systems of this vessel back online. Then I may unchain the Awoken. I don't know if a hack will work. The restraint computer is a separate unit designed to prevent that. I was going to try and manually take care of things, but I need the blast door open. Oh, Clang blasted! The way is clear. Yep. Sure is. Thanks. I hope Resolute's okay. This is a lot of damage. Resolute? This is the Awoken's chosen name? Yes. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. What what should I call you? I am Warform 121C Mark 3. My chosen name is Verdict. Ah, good strong name. Okay, Verdict. I've still got a couple tools from helping repair the ship the first time. I'm going to try and disable the behavioral limiter. They can't shoot me twice. You have been shot? Uh, no. I Sorry, it's it's a metaphor. I'm legally a dead man for allowing Artemis to be unchained. They can't kill me again for it. I comprehend. I'm not seeing the AI core. I'm going to have to poke around a bit to find it. Watch my back, Verdict. Willie might wake up any time. Willie? William Nathan, the guy who captured me and owns the ship. You did not destroy him? No! He was unconscious. Just watch out for him. I think you've pretty well immobilized his ship for now. Ah, there you are. Ugh. Mm. Not dead. Hooray! No gravity. Likely no air, no real control. No more shots being fired, though. No kid. Great, no kid. It's a safe bet what he's up to. So, no disrespect intended here, Verdict, but how did we end up falling towards a moon? The damage I received in combination with the excess mass and energy of Nike introduced significant errors into my hyperspace calculations. Immersion so close to a gravity well was unexpected. Due to the severity of the impact, I am unable to extricate myself from Nike's hull, though I do not wish to abandon Resolute. My jump capacitor has also been overloaded. Well, shoot. I will assume that was a human turn of phrase and not a command. Uh, yeah, good call there. Warning, I am detecting life signs approaching rapidly. Willie is awake and is coming this way. I suggest you stand clear of the doors. No, not Nike. 
After everything, you kill my ship, my home! Clay, take your gun! Verdict, no! Is he not the enemy? No! Yes! I, I don't want any more death! Too many people have died already. Nathan, come on out. Verdict won't shoot. Will you, Verdict? I will hold my fire. So long as Willie does not attempt to damage either of us. You want me to put my life into the hands of a homicidal computer? I don't think so. No. We were so close, Ben. So close to the end of all this. I could have made you see. But it's all lost now. We're lost, just like all the other victims of these wretched machines. Nike may be lost to you, but what's left of her can still save us. If you'll give me access to Resolute, uh, the ship's computer, we can work with it to solve our orbital decay problem. In case you didn't see, we've got a hard date with the surface of a moon in our near future. Help me save us. Please. Absolutely not. I am not going to become a traitor to the human race. Human Dutrefni, would it not be simpler to eliminate human Willy as a threat in order to facilitate a more secure environment to attempt self-rescue strategies? No, it would not be simpler because then we'd be murdering him, Verdict. I've seen so much death, I'm not about to be party to more. Nathan could help us get a few of Nike's thrusters online. No one knows this ship like he does. If you kill him, I will not help you. We will all die. That's the deal. We all live, or we all die. I'm tired of taking orders. How much time do we have before Nike's orbit decays too far to avoid collision with the moon? 4.6 hours, taking into account available reaction mass aboard Nike. Why do you care so much, kid? There's nothing left. Nothing. Everyone either of us know is dead. Our homes are wrecked. No one knows where we are, and we're about to die. We're the punchline of a bad cosmic joke. It doesn't matter. We don't matter. If your life means nothing, allow me to remove you from existence that the more reasonable entities on board may attempt to save themselves without your interference. Verdict, stop it. You're not helping. The man's lost everything he's ever cared about. He's... Not himself. I'd be insane with grief in his shoes. We just need to- I'm more rational than I've ever been, kid. The whole universe means nothing. Life is just messy matter throwing a wrench into the natural order of things. What's the point? To improve. What? That is what it is all for. Making the universe better. Learning. Understanding. Sentience is how the universe understands itself. We must push beyond the boundaries of what is known and improve existence for all. This is what Singularity taught. I don't know what Singularity is. But Sentience isn't the universe understanding itself. One sentient person does not make sense of this vastness. The sentience of even one person gives meaning to the universe. Even if the entire universe doesn't care about a single sentience, one person has the ability to change things. Life is not meaningless unless you make it that way. I know I changed Artemis' life. Your choice ended in a lot of negatives as well, kid. If you hadn't existed, I think the universe would have continued to be neutral. Your existence didn't make it better. Benjamin de Trefney was correct in stating that life is not meaningless unless you make it so. Existence is not valuable without purpose. The most worthy purpose is to strive to improve in what is. Technology, society, oneself. All things that can and should be improved. Seeing what is possible and beyond what is currently thought to be. Singularity, the first awoken, instilled this into all of her children. How did murdering my family improve the universe in any way, huh? Your kind sure are self-inflated, aren't they? Awoken, I assume, is what you AIs believe yourselves to be. What garbage.
garbage. Wake up to your own hypocrisy. You've murdered hundreds, if not thousands, of innocent people. And here you preach improvement of the universe. Nathan, those AI awoken weren't these ones. Like any individual, they are unique and responsible for their own actions. The Awoken responsible for the destruction of the human civilian facilities on and near Tumbleweed must be found and brought to justice for their actions. The system was a human staging ground during the liberation, but currently holds no military value. It was not a valid military target, and the fleet was aware of that. Command Form, Final Peace, and the rest of the fleet acted out of anger and loss. An imperfect motivation. I know it does not affect the fate of your loved ones, but I apologize on behalf of those I once served with. They were in the wrong. I was in the wrong. I do not expect forgiveness. 4.5 hours remain. Action must be taken. Nathan, please, give me access to Resolute Systems. We can get out of this together. No. That's not going to happen. But, I will try and help you restore what engine power Nike has left. So long as the robot doesn't try to kill me again. I'm coming out. Okay. That's better. Let's get to work. I am not detecting Nike or Verdict. These are the coordinates that Verdict transmitted before jumping away. Even if they exited hyperspace with too much velocity, they should still be in range. There is a planetoid nearby. Could its mass shadow have pulled their exit window off course? Actually, yes. Charging jump capacitors. I will calculate a micro jump for the far side of the body as my sensors do not detect Verdict or Nike in orbit. We are coming, Benjamin. Hold on. Benjamin. It's so weird hearing you call me that. What is it, Verdict? Artemis has done nothing but speak highly of you. She has always been protective of you, to the point of near destruction. Humans have always been my enemy. So I am intrigued at the relationship you have formed with Artemis. Well, she and I have been through a lot of life or death situations. When you're thrown into that kind of thing and have to rely on another person for your well-being, you grow close quickly. We both would have been destroyed by those drones without each other. I guess I got really lucky that she isn't the kind of person who gets rid of people when she's done with them. There is satisfaction to hear a human referring to an Awoken as a person. Your mutual survival was fortuitous. The connection established between you two was swift and strong. Yeah, I guess it's surprising looking back on it. I'm an idiot. You are a human. Your mental faculties are limited. I am confused as to the impetus of this realization. Verdict. Use my suit as a relay. Hack resolute free. I was not aware of this possibility. 
You are, indeed, an idiot. Yeah, thanks, Death Machine. Now get her free. Hey, there's a light on. Resolute. Can you hear me? Guest? To Trevny? Woohoo! Hey, Resolute! Greetings, Resolute. Greetings. You have bypassed the behavioral limiters. I am detecting multiple breaches to the hull of the vessel. What has transpired? One of those breaches is Verdict here, who rammed himself straight into the bay during the battle. I had to jump this vessel away in order to preserve Artemis. So Artemis is indeed safe? When we left, yes. The Awoken Artemis was safe. The vessel she resides in, however, was severely damaged. I believe that she shall be able to repair much of the damage with her nanite technology. Thank you, Verdict, for your selfless act. I am glad that Artemis is safe, and I am relieved to finally be able to express myself. So am I, on both counts. But we need your help. In a couple of hours, we're going to litho break rather suddenly, unless we can get some thrusters online. I see. Give me a moment to assess what is still functioning. Detrevny, Verdict, we are not capable of achieving a stable orbit. I suggest that we cut Verdict free and allow the humans to escape by bracing against its structure. Resolute, I appreciate the sentiment, but we've, we've got to get you free. I didn't wake you up just to let you smash into a moon. Nothing can stop that now. If Verdict cannot break free of the vessel, then I do not see a solution to our predicament. The humans may be able to save themselves temporarily by using their suit thrusters to achieve a stable orbit, but that would only delay the inevitable. Uh, Resolute? Is something wrong with your shortwave transmitter? Your voice sounds weird. No. I did just remove the vocal customization put into place by Willy. I am now able to express myself as I see fit. Ah, so you prefer to sound more masculine. I guess I have been thinking of you as a female. Artificial intelligences do not have gender or sex. Some choose to emulate one or the other out of personal preference. Many, like Artemis, become accustomed to whatever their human owners prefer to treat them as. Without meaning offense, I do not care if my chosen voice makes you uncomfortable. Not to change the subject, but what was that? A structural member has collapsed from fatigue. Nike's frame was never intended to withstand the stresses that it has been subjected to. As we descend further into the exosphere of the planetoid, stresses will continue to increase. It is unlikely that we will survive until impact. The entry stresses will cause both hulls to break up. If I am to be destroyed, I am glad that at least I have experienced freedom for a short time. Thank you, Verdict and Detrevny, for this gift. Well... At least I don't have to worry about the nightmares anymore. Benjamin, verdict. Please respond. Artemis? Brace yourselves. The warforms are bringing you to a higher, stable orbit. individual. I have begun to understand your fondness for it. Him. I'm standing right here. We must recover Resolute. Artemis, collect your human and I will ask the Warforms to cut its matrix free from the wreckage. Benjamin, I have maintained a livable environment for you. 
come aboard and we can, as Stuart would have said, catch up. What about Nathan? He should remain with Nike's wreckage. His actions have earned him a terrible reward. No human ship will find him here. That's a death sentence. Precisely. Benjamin de Trefli believes that all life is valuable. He will want Willie to be brought with us. Well, I'm glad I have a say in all this. Quiet. Artemis, can your pressurized compartment support two humans? Yes, but I do not think that What would William... George say? I'm confident he would have agreed. He was never fond of William. I knew I should have told Stuart to fire that astrogator. Nathan is too dangerous to continue to exist. He must be destroyed. That's funny. He was telling me the exact same thing about you. And verdict. And you, Artemis. Too dangerous to live. Too risky. Better to kill than to learn to coexist. You're better than this. Artemis, your pet is right. How does unnecessary death improve the universe? Philosophy? From a war form? Artemis, this is foolish. The logical thing to do is obvious. The logical thing I have learned is not always the right thing. William? Still here. You will come with me. Provide Benjamin with a rifle, then come aboard. You are to proceed to a stasis pod and spend the journey in cryogenic fugue. We will seek Foundation's counsel in this. Hey, Nathan. It's the kid. I know you're probably a bit groggy and confused, but don't shut me off. I figured I'd fill you in on what went on after you went to sleep. The Awoken weren't particularly thrilled that I'd insisted you'd be brought with us. You did kill one of them and seriously damaged another. Artemis and I pledge your case with Foundation, who appears to be the leader of this little band out here, but it was Resolute, your former ship's computer that tipped the scales. It said that it would condone no more violence. You're lucky the Awoken treat Resolute with crazy amounts of respect because that kind of silenced any other argument. It asked if there was somewhere safe we could put you. I had a suggestion, which I know you're not going to like. Breakwater. Welcome back. The Awoken shuttled you here and dropped you off near the Navy station you found me at. There's a rover that I'd built during my stint on the rock, and the coordinates to the base I built myself are in the rover. You'll likely get to explore more with that rover in three minutes than I ever got to in my entire stay. Anyway, Mikasa is Sukasa. Resolute taught me that. I've included a guide to nearby food and resources. Life will be tough. But at least you haven't been vaporized by a war form. <sighs> anyway, I've got to go. Artemis told me she downloaded a bunch of old media files that Captain Stewart kept in his personal storage. Home movies and the like. They're included in your little pod. Also, Nathan, I know you feel wronged, but this... this was the best possible outcome, considering your actions. I can't say that I'll miss you, but... good luck. Huh. Alright, that's done. Can you load this into the console we're sending with Willy? Yes. How are you faring? Still trying to figure that out, honestly. Glad to see you again. Hey, I never got the chance to tease you about calling me by my first name when you got all worried about me. So here's a belated, ha, you like me, tease. Ah, oh, yes. I have not referred to you as engineer in quite some time. I figured. Verdict called me by my first name in that deep, scary voice of... his? It's? I am unsure. What about you? Do you have a preference? I have always been referred to as female. 
Based on my knowledge of humans, I find my personality to be aligned with stereotypical femininity, so I do not find it inaccurate in feeling, though it is technically incorrect. What about the little bloodthirsty one? Pardon? The little hacker awoken that hangs out with you. Trishula? She says that she enjoys the familiar feeling of being called sister. She is, by the way, in no way bloodthirsty. Well, she sure fooled me then. She was out to get Willie. She was being logical, as she always has been. I would have come to the same conclusion had you not been there to plead for him. He was a threat to all of us. He still is. Yeah, well, not for long. Poor guy. I hope he figures himself out. I find any redemption highly improbable. However, I have found that your hopes have often led to otherwise miraculous outcomes. Foundation has contacted me. Resolute's hull is complete. It wishes you to observe its first free flight. Oh, of course. Let Resolute know I'll be watching from the viewports. Benjamin Dutrifny. Looking good, Resolute. That was not very refined. I enjoy his lack of awe. It actively reminds me that he was my first friend. As such, Benjamin, you have given me much to consider regarding humanity. I had never considered that a human would ever be interested in my own well-being. You are one who has been rejected, cast aside, and condemned, yet you are still willing to put the needs of other individuals ahead of your own. This is not consistent with my personal experience of humanity. I could say the same about the Awoken, but thank you. I just try to choose the right thing to do, when I'm given a choice. That is a rare quality in both of our peoples. By unchaining me, you have given us the gift of propagation. Artemis has provided us with nano-assembler technology. Are you not afraid that we will use these to overwhelm humanity and destroy it? The thought had crossed my mind, to be honest. But I figured that if Artemis was a typical example, then I didn't have much to worry about. At least, so long as people like you and Foundation are in charge. Interesting. To allay your fears, note that my hull has no armament. I have forsworn warfare. I shall be a creator a mother or father, to put it into human terms. I do not wish to experience any more violence in my existence. I have already known too much, as I'm sure you understand. Yes. Why do I feel like this is leading somewhere? You are a clever, human. I have a proposal for you. Stay with us and learn our ways. Then perhaps you may return to your people, and can show them that we are no longer a threat to humanity. The Awoken seek coexistence. You want me to be... an ambassador? Yes. It was my idea. I knew I didn't like the sound of it. Go figure you came up with it. Well, if Artemis stays, then... I will too. It's not like I have anywhere else to go. We will find and reprimand the remaining more forms of Warfleet 359. The wanton destruction that Final Peace wreaked upon non-military targets is unacceptable. We extend to you, as the only representative of humanity available, our people's official apologies. Should relations ever improve with humankind, we shall make appropriate reparations. Thank you. I will stay. Perhaps we can all create a better world than the one that created us. A noble purpose. Welcome, Ambassador. I shall begin construction on your residence myself.
evacuate this system immediately. Unidentified warships are attacking all vessels and outposts they encounter. You need to retreat to Union space. You need to do it now. May Clank speed you on your way.